Greetings. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hmm. Sagulitations. Sagulitations. Hmm. Sigourney Weavers. <laughs> oh man. All right now. That was gonna that was gonna explain why I was late, but now I'm just I'm all Sigourneyed up. <laughs> all right. <laughs> hmm. Who wants to give me the recap? All right, I got this one this time. Are you ready for communications? No. You've got to ruin got it every one. goddamn time. <laughs> Just one thing. You're welcome. <laughs> I love you. All right. Woo. Boo -boo. <clears throat> Most quotable character in Corvan. Yeah. Go ahead. I, am I really? I thought that was Booker. Come on, please. What? <laughs> Anyone else? He has like he has like four things he says, and three of them are liquids. And the last one is the thing caused by those liquids. You have one thing, one thing only. Communication cities. Communication. Please well, give me the recap, or I'm going to put this entire box of crayons in my ass. I swear <laughs> to God. I, <laughs> well, now you're just giving me the wrong, wrong incentives here. But nonetheless. <clears throat> Uh, this is the first report to the Barrow King of the travels of the King's Ire and her crew. The first week to the Whisperwood were uneventful, but landing, we became uh, across a disguised noble of the Pale City who appeared to be burned, uh, was to be burned by the church in what appeared to be some political move. After saving her and some light interrogation, we were able to find out that she was to, apparently, uh, Tellery's very own betrothed, but has taken the life to criminal elements and... The details of such have been uh, still somewhat not cleared, but what has been assessed is that she is no ally of the Pale City, and we have agreed to allow her passage on the King's Ire in exchange for her skills in both combat and subterfuge. Our time in Whisperwood was short, mostly stilly, uh, simply gathering supplies for the long journey, but we were able to find out that the church does still have a small presence in Whisperwood. There were talks of an Inquisitor, as well as a fort hunting casters trying to find shelter in the Bone Mire. Uh, we quickly left our journey, to which is, was soon interrupted by an attack by a young leviathan, of all things. We were barely able to fight it back, in no small, uh, small part thanks to one of the ship crew assisting us. He is a druid by the name of Swig, one of the newly risen, and after his assistance, we quickly added him to our retinue, as his presence has proven to be key in our future endeavors. Maybe worth uh, pointing out uh, that a warning of a leviathan with a scar upon his face, as Chrome has maimed it to finally scare it off, but I've heard from my family that they are intelligent creatures and quick to revenge and anger. A short time after this, we came upon what was identified as a crashed flying ship, apparently a creation from Marlowe's home of Calcatash. Its key component for flight has sunken, was sunk into the ocean floor, to which, with the help of Swig and Marlowe, we were able to retrieve the device in a rather damaged state. It is currently being stored in the Hall of the King's Ire so that it may be studied for a later time. Unfortunately, we had spent too much time in the depths, and another violin had come upon us, this one far more older than the juvenile we had faced. This is where I will once again have to give praise to Swig for the unprompted he'd stayed back to allow our allies to retreat along with me. Though quick to wit and reading the violin's actions, he was able to deduce that some force had kept the Leviathan at bay. I believe you should bring this matter up with the druids in your employ. It seems that the druids of the land some time ago made a deal with the leviathans. Now they are uh, under oath of some sort. Do not enter our waters. As for the one that attacked us, we believe that it was due to its youth and lack of development that allowed it to get past this barrier. Further on, we were able to get back on our journey with little to no injuries. Uh, it is once again that we can give praise to someone else this time. Captain Lamont, as he was able to get us past a terrifying storm that even Laws' great magical powers could not stave off. It was then that we were able to find some damn good winds and made amazing times down to the uh, Silver Coast. Uh, in a matter of weeks. It was at this point that we came across a island absolutely covered in silver salt, and with such luck we could not ignore, and came ashore we quickly made base camp, but came aware of some creatures known as Kuatoa. These strange, bizarre creatures, armored and robed, 
pretending to be people or perhaps stolen goods from other adventurers, I can only assume. Held some strange ritual with a fish uh, beyond me. But we had to leave quickly as some unknown presence deep within the island had shook one of our members. It is at this point I must inform you that the nature of our travels may change drastically. But I promise you that we have come across as close to nothing more than a miracle. as a floating, traveling library containing untold years of history from all across Verum itself. We have learned of histories of our lands that even the sagas were blind to. So much so that I believe that even this was done with almost as much malice as the Metharians did themselves. There is far too much to go over here, but what must be known is that to the far northeast of Carvanas, there is a location known as the Island of Mana. Within this island is known to be the stillborn grove. Much of the problems that have plagued our lands and magic can be attributed to this place. It is corrupted by some horrific creatures of aberrant nature that have infected our ley lines. The Broken Brothers are but the first symptoms of their corruption. We have also learned the nature of the Whispering King, but much of this is grave and confusing news, and I, your attention I know will always be towards the Metharians. I will ask of you this. Please spread this news. The druids must be able to regain their presence if we are to have a land to save, and with what I've learned, I believe that the stillborn grave is not dealt with soon, within some decades or so. Its corruption may spread farther than even Corvanus to the rest of Verum. From Gruel. Stonehead. Neninoth. Inspiration for you, buddy. Good stuff. Clap, clap. Wow. Oh, yeah, and I began communications, and Chrome is white now. <laughs> <coughs> I think I'll use my credit card. <laughs> white Chrome mm, has entered the building. Not unmuting and being mean to you is like fighting off a fucking heroin withdrawal. <laughs> See, now you wow. get it. He understands. <laughs> kind words. <laughs> Wait, how was it? Always a pleasure, Marlo? Yeah. Always and forever. Also, also uh, real quick, chat. I have to leave my window open so I don't fucking die. So if you hear mm -hmm. some cars going by, then, well, sorry. <coughs> Excuse oh, good. Me. When the police come for all of us, we'll understand. <laughs> we'll know who to point at. <laughs> oh, I've made the police here. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. Um, you're starting to make communications. Uh, we'll go to Nar next. What are you doing at this door, Nar? I was checking out the door. Okay, perception check or investigation, your choice. Let's see here. Which is better? Uh, oh, they're going to be pretty much the same. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go with investigation. <coughs> okay. Let's see here. One moment. I have a lot to open. Uh, make sure everything is correct. Uh, just as a quick aside, I'm going through a lot of shit at once, so it might take me a little bit to respond to questions. You got but, it. Just so that everyone's aware. The man with the notes. But, uh... So we have time to... There are major fuckeries afoot. Okay. But. Quick. Ask a lot of questions. <laughs> yeah, ask them. Quick. Now. Before you can stop. Uh, 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 uh. Do, we, do we have time to interact amongst each other? Well, just give me a second. Um, okay. I'm not. Like, I have everything. It's just I need to make sure that. Yeah. I don't. No worries. Reveal the wrong thing or else everybody listening with their cork boards will start setting it all on fire. Hmm. <laughs> The scent of burning corkboard. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Do, 
<laughs> All right, Nar, as you approach this particular door, um, you can see that it bear. Oh, hold on, let me check. Okay. Hold on. I'm just going to put this here because it's going to drive me crazy if I don't. <laughs> I don't put these things down. Well, it's... might become soon uh, relevant, one might say. Okay. And then that means your... Let's see. Sure this is the right... Oh, that's a lot of numbers. The right goddamn door. Two more seconds, guys. Sorry, there's mm -hmm. there's a lot here. I need to make That's sure fine. That, that I'm not. He's processing the wrong ones. Can you hear the whirring noise in his brain? No, <laughs> do, no. Do I have do I have 45 seconds to shit and grab my hot dogs? Yes, you may shit and grab your hot dogs in that order without washing. Oh, grab my hot dog. Bro, mm -hmm. same hot dogs. <laughs> Ooh, Wait, oh, real, real, yeah. real quick. This is kind of a today. this is kind of an aside. Did, did Essie really not know what you were humming? Uh, I'm sure she had some guess. <laughs> it's happened before, mm -mm. so. You know, as it does with, with guys and that's, Halo music. That's absolutely disgraceful. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get some music on here. Hold on. Yeah. I will start humming. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can begin your recollection of Bloop again. I'm being called out. <laughs> No, no, no. Abby doesn't uh, know the bloop story. Uh, she was told it twice, and she definitely phased most of it out. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah. Her eyes He's glassed over <laughs> and rolled into the back of her cranium, and uh, no information was gathered. Boom. Oh, excuse me. Man, this song always puts me in the mood. Yeah. Make me want to cry. Okay. I'm ready. Are you back? Everybody back? We are ready to cry. Yes, please. Yeah. Is, you there, Luke? Is, is Luke back? Maybe. I right, will wait for Luke to get hmm. back. Nope, still getting hot dogs. <clears throat> Been well over 45 seconds. You think he drinks the, the hot dog water? You know? Y you know? Sometimes. Well, it gets on the dogs. See, <laughs> the, and, now, the and, now dog what? and now he's like. Hot dog, what? You just dog have to water. use the right word. He heard him. Opportunity to wow. be weird? Alright. Alright. Um. The door that you look at, Nar, is comprised of six aisles muraled onto the door. Around it, you can see that there are waves 
indicating that this is like a, a, a an ocean location of some kind. And each of the islands has a great serpent that seems to coil around them. And each serpent coils into the other, forming a almost larger being eating itself. Oh. Multiple hydra or forest thing. All right. This door is powered like all the others and will open should you place your hand upon it. As you do so, the stone doors will move away, unobscuring your view. And inside, you see the following. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice self plug. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nice, bud. All right, as you step up, you can see what appears to be a tear, much like the other portals. Through this, you can see that the Leyletic symbols are pulsing, and through the other side, you're able to witness several aisles, each one separated by the great coiling presence of a serpent. These great serpents are comprised not of flesh and scale and bone, but of magic and faith. Each one protecting, but each one coiling and suffocating. In the center, you can see that there is a great ship that is currently floating in front of a massive serpent's head. That is what you see. I don't think I've seen anything like that before. I just kind of studies the serpent head and everything for a time. I will then pull out small piece of paper and start scribbling down what all she sees and when done with that she will get ready to move to the next room as you study you're able to discover that <coughs> there is a name on the ship And the name on that ship is, I will put it in your notes, because it's important. Oh, thank you. I was about to do the same. It is called White Star. White Star. Orton, never heard of it before. Hmm. Hmm. Strange rooms. And she will, in that case, start making her way to the next Downtown. rooms. Mm hmm. Making her way. Walking downtown. Fast. Fast. Power walking. Fast. And I'm homebound. Power walking at all times. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'll be located here next. When you approach this one, you can see a great continent muraled upon the, uh, upon the stone wall or the door. And within it, you can see that there are seven points that form a central star. Oh. 
pulls out the little seven-pointed star symbol and goes, Oh. Oh. Puts that back. Gonna tap the door again. Okay. As you place your hand upon the door and it opens before you, uh, you will see the following. What you see is the expanse of this great continent sort of zoomed out before you, but then you can see it. Mana scorches the edges of countries and regions. The great deserted, the great land filled with sand and desert risen up once more. Great ziggurats and pyramids reaching outwards towards the sky. Beacons of mana so bright that even through this window, their glare blinds you. Hmm. I don't know where this is. Perhaps Marlo would know. He's been to other places. Okay, chronologically, we're going to catch up everyone else because you start to turn this mm -hmm. way and walk down. Marlo! <coughs> Laza approaches this door and looks at it quite curiously alongside you. This particular door bears a singular mark in the center, a great well, and from it, a storm of magic can be seen. And around it, a fervent, a fervent land growing wild and untamed. Do you uh, recognize this iconography, Lazo? I, I don't. But it certainly looks... Well, it, it looks accurate, I suppose, but I've never seen it before. Is this a map of some kind? Laza will reach outwards towards the door. Curiosity getting the better of his wisdom and places his hand upon it. The great stone door opens and inside you see a portal similar to the others. This one gazing out at a land that seems to be almost untouched by the hands of man or elf or dragon or beast or burden. And in the center there is a great hole where mana pours out like a great font, like an erupting volcano, creation and power emanating out from the center. And this is what you see here. New text, no. New text. Map two. His toes. Has this uh, revealed anything more to you, or given you more questions? Well, it, it seems to be representative of something. What, what we're viewing, is a whole continent, a, a, a land of some kind. I, but what possible reason could there be to look out upon it like so? Is it tracking something? Scrying, perhaps? Is it observing something? And, and if so, why? If this was used merely for travel, why would it be open? 
Can it be closed? Can it be changed? Many questions indeed, Marlo. Look at the center of this world, of this, of this land. Do you see the center of this realm is filled with more mana than perhaps even Kalkatesh? It flows from the center like some, like some great flowering bloom. Well, you would be the expert in divination. Would this be a gate one can pass through, or is this a viewing gate of sorts? Well, there is I don't know if there is a difference. There is certainly enough conjuration upon it that I do not doubt one could pass through. Divination of this strength to bypass the, well, the, the fugue of the abyss, it's a potency that I, I've only ever dreamed of. And look here, Marlo. As he points towards the ground. Do you see? Inlaid within the stone are bits of amber. But it is built in such a way as not to block the usage, but rather to focus it, like one might focus the sun's power with a lens. I'm afraid this is out of the realm of my expertise. Indeed. Also a bit cautious. I'd rather not touch anything that we don't know. Surely it won't harm just to look. No touching, obviously. But windows are meant to be looked through. Aren't they? I've never asked myself that question. But I'll take your word for it. Well, come along. Might as well not do it alone, yes? Marlo will take a few steps forward, but keep his distance. In case Laza gets sucked in or something. Laza will start to gaze through the portal, being careful, at least in his prudence, not to touch it or cross over a boundary of sorts. But he is definitely interested in what he's seeing his eyes light up like any scholar on newfound knowledge hungry for what it is what it could be and what it might imply as he gazes outward you can't help but look as well however as you look out marlo make me an arcana check or if you do not possess that a history check these are our trained? These are trained, yes. Yeah, 17. The land that it shows you appears to be old and new simultaneously. The land is grown and the, and the, the edges of it seem to be older than the center. An incredibly curious conundrum. The outer edge of the continent, older. The inward edge, younger. The forests, smaller. The rock and stone, more primordial. Whatever the center well must be, it must be a source of unfathomable magic. But as you take a closer look, with each sparking note, almost like a sympathy, a symphony, the mana stretches up into the sky and forms ever so softly the veil of a great tree. I'd be weary, Laza. Even speaking around this makes me a bit nervous. Don't know the uh, permeability of such objects. Especially after we just learned about the relativity of time in different places. If we kick a piece of dust into this, who knows how fast it'll travel through, how far it'll go. Might even happen to it. You're right, of course. We should be cautious.
Hmm. Let's walk this way, completing another few minutes, equalizing into ten, perhaps. <laughs> All right. And then this shit is happening. Help! No! Oh! Wow! 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 Are you yelling, help? <clears throat> no. Did you yell? Did... I did what? not. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, Mato P did, but I don't think he was in yeah. character. Ah, uh, I, uh, I see. Help! I don't scream. <laughs> I don't did, scream did, for help. Did Chrome himself yell out for help? No. Nah. Of course not. No. He is Never. the storm that is approaching. I am the help. I am the... I... <laughs> <laughs> that works on so many levels of the fucking joke. I am the help. Okay, that enough. As you um, continue your communications, <laughs> it is not a city in which you communicate, but rather a wandering group through the jungle. As was discussed last time. Oh, actually, let me make sure. Where did we leave off exactly? With you talking about them, uh, we went through. I was going to begin yeah. uh, using primeval conscious, yeah. and you said take an individual, and I yeah. chose the one that had the druidic marks. Okay, give me. That's where we ended. Let me double check one more thing. Then we're in a forest. Make sure I don't get ahead of myself. Uh, who died? Who died? Sorry, Oops, he get, I hope he gets uh, sucked into that fucking portal. <laughs> Goodbye, portal. What, what was that you said, Marlo, about portals? No, nothing. Uh, okay, sounds about right. <laughs> and somehow getting sucked or something? I don't, I don't know. Sounds about you. Exposure? Where? I'm starting to get exposed. And just start sniffing. My toes are out. <laughs> You've been hanging around Ari too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright. Feed and agreeance. I'm Rule. Discord. As you reach out with your primeval consciousness towards the one with the druidic marks. You notice, strangely, that the druid at first doesn't seem to notice your presence. You reach outwards with your mind, and for a moment, you can hear them. You can feel them, as if you are a part of them. But then, something happens. They are gathered up at, a camp at an encampment at the edge of the jungle that has recently been hewn away. You can see, from their perspective, down towards the southern coast, there is a f ominous fog that thickens and chokes the land. You can see the presence of spirits and the beacons of light wielded by the church. You can see things that they cannot. You watch as the party pack up their camp and venture forward bravely into this dark fog. But you see it. You see something that they do not. They walk forward into an ambush, a trap laid by those that they would hunt. Someone knew they were coming, and they are ready. However, you are watching, and as your consciousness is embedded in this area, the druid, his elvish ears twitch 
and turns and looks towards you. But he sees naught but leaf and wind. Do you wish to impose your will and interfere? Or allow them to walk into death? He will immediately uh, impose his will. How? Be specific. I am using primeval awareness, uh, consciousness for this, right? Yes. Am I able to give him the senses of the creatures around him? The knowledge of the amount of, cre of humanoids within his presence and other such creatures? How? Be specific. <clears throat> the way I have portrayed the senses is that I can understand the mana and the flow and what these mana flows within these people represent between aberration, humanoid, and so on and so forth. Am I able to give him that sense of mana, that sense of flow around him? In a uh, How would you communicate that to him? Mm. Mm. There is no correct or incorrect answer. I just need to know how you do it. You just must be specific. Right. Um, sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to give a sixth sense to another person. In your mind. Trying to use my mind. Um, am I able to communicate with him, saying you are surrounded? Be prepared. I cannot answer questions of mm. if you can. Okay, understand. Tell me what you want to do. Be specific. There are no okay. right or wrong answers. I will fill his vision with the specks of light that represent the life forces of each of these individuals in the distance. Anything else? I will tell him be prepared. Okay. Just that. You are not you be prepared. You are not alone. We are watching. So be it. As you speak these words, the elf will suddenly look around. Wary, raising his hand to his weapon, the others stop and stand to defend alongside him. He will reach up, placing his hand on his head, and shake it for a moment. You will see the party turn and disappear into the fog. That is all you can see. As you feel yourself shunted back, Gruel will hit the ground hard, something that he has not done before when using this. Uh, is he okay? Uh, uh, Missing in enough? I am... I am... Okay, I'm here. It was... I was so... different. And What did you do? I'll pick him up. 
I I was able to con connect. Perception in, check in some the way. four of you. That. And breakfast? No. Okay. Oh, oh, here, let me, uh, let me roll for him. But I saw that. <laughs> right, he saw nothing. Breakfast sees all. Uh, Chrome, while you, you said... are, while you are lifting up gruel, Chrome, you notice just for a moment the silhouette as if someone is standing inside of the portal watching you. You look up. And you could swear for a brief moment you saw what appeared to be a woman with a mask. Or maybe not a mask. Something around her eyes. But she fades from your sight. I would, uh, tell these two to stand back as I see that light gaze, that slight figure. Beyond this door, and I'll just close it. Mr. Cornelius told us not to talk to people or do things. What did you do? We we should step away from this uh, portal, this 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 gate. We didn't I didn't uh, do anything. Hmm. It was it was slight, but there was a figure. Uh. Uh, Watch apologies. Us. Uh, I don't know exactly what happened, but I. It was bizarre, but I think I helped them. They were you know, walking into an ambush, but I saw it through the elf's eyes, as if I was uh, channeling through his. And I think I warned him told him that we're watching. Did you hold, know him? Hold that thought. Over here. Marlo and Nar were speaking to each other. Yeah. Hey, uh, Marlo. Yep. Uh, so, it, uh, quick question. Um, Was it just a, a white figure? You're not even sure. You saw just a quick flash. Gotcha. Alright, good to you. Mm. Not sure what you found at your doors. I've been taking a couple notes. It's a portal. A big one. Mm. They all Led seem to, to have uh, that. Font of mana or something? Oh. Did, uh, yours look like it was to a place that wasn't on Corvanus? Uh, yeah, I've actually seen two of them. Uh, one down that way has a lot of big snakes. And a boat, I hand him my notes on it. Which is just about the snakes that are, in essence, orborsing each other. Wrapped around all the Leylanic energy and the boat's name. And uh, I figured you'd want to look at this one. It had the seven pointed star on it and a whole lot of magic towers. Is that a drawing or a description? Uh, it's a drawing, and I wrote what all I saw. Can I do a history check on it? <coughs> sure. Or w would I have any... You can try, yeah. You've seen more places than I have. Barely, you'd know. Uh, which, which one are you showing him, Nar? The, uh, the first door or the second door? The first door. Okay. You do uh, not... The history was, was for the uh, seven-pointed star. The first one... Oh. Unless I, unless I might have recognized the oh, serpents. Oh, well, you, you... You don't recognize the serpents, but you instantly recognize the seven-pointed star. It is the symbol of the seven. Uh, is it of a place I recognize? It doesn't sound like it. Well, the way that she described it, it, it sounds like the Seven, but... I mean, did you describe any continental stuff? 
Well, I mean, I suppose Magic you're standing right there. Magic I mean, you can see it. Yeah. You can see the door right Don't there. Don't take so. a look, no. Nalo. <laughs> well, you recognize, oh. from this distance, you recognize the door as the mirrored map of your homeland of Kalkadesh. Oh. Nars just like, yeah, it has a seven-point star. I have no idea whoa, what Whoa, that whoa, whoa, are you opening it and going inside? Okay. <laughs> Jump through. Yeah, I... I would uh, definitely give a birth, whatever that means. Oh right, <laughs> no, no, birth. I want birth. Please birth. don't give birth. Birth, <laughs> birth is a word that you would know. That's a shit. <laughs> I want to show you this landscape of scars and magic and but yes, blinding. immediately cover your children. eyes. Do it now. All right, right into the portal, Marlo. As you, yes. as you and Laza approach. Laza will hold his hand up to the bottom of his trunk in a gasp. And you will see home. But not home as you remember it. You can see across the continent there appears to be bits and pieces of scarring. But it is the most devastating are the changes in Majital, the once winding, arid, cruel, but fair desert of Majital, replaced by great effigious pyramids, surrounded by a sudden alacrity of verdant ostentation. There are trees where there was once sand, rivers where there was once not and scars fill the land around it. The magic emanating outwards, powerful enough that you can feel it even here. Second only to the mana felt from the previous door that you were at. Also, I'm starting to believe that this is a time situation, not a place situation. Is this reminiscent of the Scarabors? It's the only thing I could think of. Well, it, I mean, it, it, it does seem that way, yes. But the problem is, is this doesn't make sense. The Scarabors happened, and, and yes, it's true that Majital was once a verdant land that was drained dry by their obscene use of magic, but during that time... Well, this didn't exist. And he starts to point out different things that did not exist. Certain countries that were not there before. I do not think this is the Scarabore of the past, but... No, it cannot be. They couldn't have a way. It can't be one. Wait, is this your home? Uh, it is and it isn't. It is from the continent, it's almost exactly, oh. but the terrain is m much different. Here's a, here's a hypothesis, Laza, and if you could just humor me for a second. But this is a library, and the library's primary function is to store and collect knowledge, usually in things, books or what have you. Perhaps this is a part of a collection, a fitting of a library, a uh, a place that could have been, or maybe a place that was, a, a piece of memory. Or a place We've, that may yet to be. Perhaps, although I don't like thinking about the future too much, but we have visited somewhere similar to this. It was a domain that was made out of fragments of memory of the seven from the fourth era those on uh, Corvanus namely Metheria I see so I think this might be something similar although it could be anything oh freaky well I suppose I'm glad I didn't touch it 
Then again, that's what Skeleton Man said. Uh, well, if it means anything, I do hope you're home or all right. I hope so, too. But... I think we should, uh, head out and close these doors. They're probably here for a reason. Hmm. While I was walking back, um... Make sure door closes again. <laughs> when you guys get to about here... You, uh, you hear a loud thud. Oh. Uh, before, before I get to here, I want to think about what would happen if the portal were to be interacted with, touched or anything like that, and then crack the seer stone and use the augury part of it. Okay. Please ask your question specifically. Was my hypothesis correct? Is this a stored piece of... Uh, Augury cannot iron. answer that. Augury can only tell you um, the results of a plan you intend to take within the next 30 minutes. The answers I have are oh. wheel, woe, wheel and woe, or nothing if they are not especially good or bad. Uh, what's the result of... Um... Sending something through the portal. <coughs> like an and example woe. would be a string with a wheel and woe? Wheel and woe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good clarifications on what wheel and wool and wool. Oh, oh, uh, wheel in this case. Sorry, this is like some archaic English. So wheel is good or fortune, and woe mm -hmm. in this case is suffering and sadness. So good or oh. bad. So put together is good and bad? It's good. It, so when put together, that means... So it, the, the spell works like this. The, um, the individual asked me a question... And, and an otherworldly entry entity answers it, and essentially it's, if it's wheel, then that means something good may happen. Like a, like a good thing, like a, mm -hmm. a positive result, right? Um, woe is a negative result. Nothing means that it's, nothing significant would happen. But wheel and woe, both of them together, means that either both a good and a bad thing will happen, or the concordance of good and bad is so equalized that either may happen. But something will happen, which is why it's mm, different okay. from nothing. Yeah. Sounds right. significant. <clears throat> okay. okay. Sounds good. I, I just didn't understand that. Yeah, I got you. Direction. I like the clarification as well. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, it's like, what? I think, uh, in like a full threat, like, Mold, I would like, kind of like, pick up Gruel, kind of pick up Mouse, and just drag everyone out to the uh, corridor. Yoinkers. Hey, just... Ah. I, I would just push you all out. Just. I, oh, okay. I'm. I'm fine. I can I'm move. I'm a little. Big man handled for no reason. I'm just a little dazed. Right, what? And I'll kind of. I'll yell at breakfast. Keep watch. Make sure nothing. If anything different happens to that door, you squeal. What? You got it. M <laughs> <laughs> arm stare at the door. God, he's so fucking strapped. So swole. Straight up made of bacon and only bacon. I I seen something. I it was it was quick. It was. I I didn't know what it was, though I assumed it was a a threat, but it wasn't a threat. It was. It, it was 
I did not know it was good or bad. It was. We shouldn't cautious. have looked. We shouldn't have even looked. Did you guys? I see don't think it was looking. It was. Uh... Oh, uh, mm -mm. I may have been a bit uh, impatient. Uh, I attempted to. Me. I attempted to my meditations and reached out towards. I I took his warnings a bit too literally. I think. Uh, you know, don't. Ask you really. did the opposite of that. I look. I didn't look. Nonetheless, whatever happened, I'm fine. Everything seems fine. The portal didn't shift, but I think I met one of the other, or well, I should say, uh, connected with <coughs> another one of the traveler souls. I think I'm not sure. It was a druid. They were marching down towards some fogged area. Uh, we were going to be ambushed by the by Metharians. They knew they were there for some reason, and I I think I gave the warning. Oh, did you know them? N no, but I figured we're looking for a group of other you know souls like our own. The, I think uh, my my only issue is you're one of the unintelligent ones, so I have to take responsibility for your actions. I like I said, I the portal seemed to be fine when we walked away. Okay, did you shut the door? He did. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um. Okay. I think due to his actions, something else noticed, not just. This elf-like creature. Something bigger than the creature. Not in uh, physical size, but more of a <sighs> threat level. More of a threat. The, this, the... What do you mean, elf? What, what are you talking about? No, uh, the one I communicated with. Or connected. He threatened you? No, it was... It was... It was in an instant. In a flash. Faster than I could blink. It was like a woman... And something about her face, a mask, some sort of, but not a mask. I have a question for Cornelius. He might know a little bit more what what I just saw. Was she beyond the portal? Did she see you looking she at was, her? She was between watching at us. I think... Whatever Ru did was not acceptable in her terms. It's just a hypothesis. Did you get a... Like... like she knows what she looked like. like. Perhaps a guardian of some kind? I, what, did, I think what did she look like? I... I just saw a figure. It was, it was just... I couldn't give you details on what she looked like or what clothing shoe weird war which was a a, f a woman like figured and some sort of mask <sighs> but I do believe this is beyond anything we can confront thus is why I push everyone out And I told breakfast to watch the door because I do not know if it's we angered it or not. And then you hear a hello. Yes, oh. we should definitely sit and wait. Oh, I'm hello, back, Mr. Cornelius. Hello. So, did you get up into any shenanigans while I was gone? Hmm. <laughs> did define shenanigans. The professional you... has arrived. Oh, I it's, said. It's, it's, it's a low-tier um, restaurant. Anyway, the point is, I'm back. Everything's good. Uh, give me a little space. Get, get, get. I'll pick up Narm. Move him. I, I'm sorry, I control multiple wow. I have to constantly <laughs> right. reselect him. He will then approach. So! Now I can give you the tour proper. Sorry about that. Had to deal with a little problem down with the fiends. I have a... Fix the terrarium? I have a suggestion, quick. Eh, about of a crack in it. 
It happens sometimes. Hmm. Yes, warrior. What is your suggestion? Is there a way to look through? If you have an ability to look through one's mind, the memories. Just that. Yes. I mean, mem ago. memory magic is possible, but also a bit dangerous and um, slightly. You've expressed sli slightly that you've been reading our mind. Yes, but only your surface thoughts. I haven't gone deep into where your fetishes are. I've oh, seen enough is, of that to last me a lifetime. Multiple, in fact. The <laughs> things I want you to see just happened a moment ago. Fine, put them in your head. Think about them. Think about them. Are you thinking? Are you thinking? Yes. I need you to think woman. a little harder. You don't have a lot in there, so I need... Yeah, there it is. You fucked with the portal, didn't you? I, I didn't walk through it or talk. Did you divine through it? I, um, I don't... Well, that answers my question. <laughs> Somehow, you've gotten the attention of the Matron of Fate. Looks like someone was a little naughty. Don't worry about it. She gets pissy about all sorts of things. As if the actual act of will of others, interacting with others, doesn't change their fate. But she doesn't get pissy at them. No, it's only when the very powerful are able to do so. And then all of a sudden, it's against the rules. Stupid, arbitrary rules in the first place. All she does is sit around on her loom and just make a big shirt we all live on. Why don't you do something with your time? And I hope you heard me. Anyway, don't worry about what that tart wants. Will it be a problem? Probably, but you can handle it, I believe, and you make insight check, oh. please. No. <laughs> He's my new favorite person. <laughs> All right, this I'm is sorry, your specialty. Why? I'm insightful. He does, he does not believe in you. Oh, <laughs> oh he goodness. doesn't believe in me. However, he will continue. Anyway, it's tour time, so move your meat baskets over here, please. Do you not want to start with the, um, the one we... Interacted with. No, we have an order. Just because you went out of order doesn't mean I'm going to go out of order. He'll open okay. his he'll open his character sheet and point at the lawful part of his alignment. Follow me. <laughs> you can be lawful. We we have a straggler. Ah, oh, it's just Laza. He'll be fine. He gets distracted sometimes. Oh, I'm here! I'm an elephant boy, man. <laughs> Gotta hold his trunk, Marlo. Come on. Gotta hold his trunk. Could you please hold? you like that, wouldn't you? Yeah. All right. So first, oh, first I should explain where we are. I don't think I really did that very well. No, I had to leave right away. Hold on. Let me check my session notes. Let's see here. You keep pulling out all those notes. You, you dropped us off and told us to definitely not, certainly don't. I definitely <laughs> didn't ask you for your opinion. Now look back down at the fucking paper again. <laughs> ah, here we are. Yeah, the soul like shrouds. Okay, so let's get started. This is a nexus. What is a nexus? Your simple minds might ask me, the keeper of Casael, Cornelius Blackfire, in which I would answer, a nexus is a central point of many conjoinings. In this case, it is a central point of the shrouded souls that exist through the life stream. So, to be clear, we do not store any of them here. We're kind of, um, attached to it. The great flowing river flows through this. The river of life itself. And we take a little ganders, a little pixie doodles, through the various windows for those strolls that are strong enough in order to gain... Uh, I'll come inside. Uh, in order to gain our pool. These are the phenomenon known as traveler souls. And thus... Their Lelenic undulations cause certain things to uh, occur in such... Uh, let, me, let me get to it. When a collection of traveler souls gets together, as they naturally do, they seem to kind of flock to each other for some reason. They intend, when they get together, they cause these grand ripples, undulations, throughout the great river of life, creating these curious, let's call them almost paradoxical anomalies of the uh, a systemic variety. Essentially, I've referred to them as stories. And essentially, those stories are the Lelenic undulations of those particular individuals. Here, we see that this portal 
looks into the continent known as Alenclast. Uh, uh, Alenclast? No, Alenclast. Alenclast. That's it. Sorry about that. And it seems that this particular one. Oh, this story hasn't started yet. How interesting. There must be traveler souls en route. Any questions so far? No. How can you tell it hasn't started? Well, well look. There's no people there. There's, there's nothing going on. Oh. That's how you know it hasn't started. If you go yeah. into a theater, the theater still exists, but there's no show happening. Right? Is it missing the world seed, as mentioned before? What? No, it's, it's not... Oh, my God. Or, or oh, my... Uh, me. Any, shut up. Look, the point is that there is this. There's a world here. Look, that you can see it. It's right there. But the magic. stage has been built, but the players have yet to arrive, as it were. If you want to look at it in those esoteric artistic terms. Bleh. Hmm. Abby will thumb her amber locket. Anyway, the point is, is that it'll be honest soon enough. Oh, also, in the numerology scape, this is number one for the um, continental setup of the world in which you live in. That's important because each of these undulations seem to follow a peculiarly number scheme, which is all interwoven and interconnected to add up to something. What that something is, I could not tell you. I don't know everything, thank goodness. Are there more uh, stages, so to speak? Oh, like yes! Oh, yes! Watch this! <laughs> He'll just slap this stone here, and it goes... Beep, 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 beep. Look, all sorts of different ones that can start on this place. Although this one is the most prominent. The others do not even have a um, pseudonym. A name, as you can see, that is formed here. The name is formed from the latent magics of the divination spells that have been cast over this place. I promise I'm not naming them. At least, <laughs> I don't think I am. Am I? Well, I have a wonderful you? taste in either case. It doesn't matter. Shut up. This, look, these have a name. Deal with it. I don't care. Interesting. Yes, very interesting indeed. Scribbles down some notes. Cornelius will approve of that. Anyway, that's the first stop. Come on, there's more to see. Oh, right. Fuck this walking. Wait, uh, wait, no, no come back. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that magic. That one. Foolish ground walkers. <laughs> I agree. Is everyone here? Yes, everyone have their buddies? Good. Yes. Good. I think. This door, as he points to the continent represented on the stone, is Rhine. As he comes walking inside. Come on in. Let me adjust the setting here. Hmm. Let's see here. Hmm. Any moment now, it will come into view. Oh. That's the loading screen. I don't know why that's there. That's weird. New that's not that's not right. New he'll, new he'll slap the stone a couple more times. This thing needs calibrating, apparently. It's very strange. Let's see. Why, why do I picture Blackfire just punching a jukebox to make it work? Adjust these symbols here and make sure that the... What? Not what? quite the fonts. I imagine uh, he's doing the uh, Did you pray today? I mean, <laughs> did you pray today? And this, ah, there we are. If you didn't. That's cool. Oh, look! This one's currently active. Oh. Oh, hmm, that's odd. Ah, this anomaly happens sometimes. You see, these individuals have not awakened their traveler souls yet. As he points out, individuals covered in shadow. They move and twist through their journey. You can see them traveling, talking, fighting. But their features are wreathed in shadow. Unseen and unmarked. 
Sometimes the traveler soul has not awakened yet, but the undulations are there all the same. Their actions seem to be a bit befuddled, murkier, but their presence is undeniable. Hmm. So these are all uh, continents on the Verum, correct? Well, yes. Y yes, they are. Yes. What was the content of the last one? Number one. A Alan, class. Wait, were you not yeah, paying so attention? He said so. They are not. Sorry, I was uh, drinking coffee. All anyway, right, then, which place is this? This is Rye. <laughs> it is a continent <laughs> where there is a constant... Uh, oh, I didn't explain what Alan class was. I was so befuddled by the stupidity in the room. Let me do that one first. So, it would seem that Alanclast is an ever-regenerating continent. The enormous well at the center causes so much magical friction that the continent destroys and remakes itself several times over. Although, it seems the process has been slowing as of late, meaning that there is a chance it might finally stabilize. And who knows what sort of shenanigans that would call. Goodness knows I've known of many different types of peoples that have landed there, attempted to build a civilization, only to have it completely destroyed and then reset off of it. Truly, it is a land of new horizons and fresh pasts. I cannot wait to see which one of the many races claims and holds dominion over Alanclast. Sorry, I, I was reading that off of this pamphlet. I, I don't know who wrote this, but... Was it me? I think it was me. Anyway, that's not important. The second is Rhine. Now, Rhine is <clears throat> ruled by the numerological representation of two. In this, there are two major dichotomous forces. There is music, sound, and life. And there is the great and eternal silence, which in this regard is not the lack of sound, but rather a sort of antagonistic entity that seeks to silence all things, devouring it completely. And within this particular continent, there are the Chords of Creation, as it is one of the central points for the river of, uh, excuse me, for the great uh, river of life, as it were. Come on, more to see, more to see, more to see, more to see. Oh, actually, everyone stop. Just come over here, come a little, come around. Okay. We're not doing the walking thing, we're doing this. River of Whee! Life. Ah! Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm stuck in the wall. <laughs> River of Life gets <laughs> jolted through a wall. Leaves a scratch <laughs> upon her notes. I can still read that. Oh, wow, that was terrifying. Am I even the same person I was before? <laughs> Ooh, what's this? <laughs> or am I something new, recreated in its image? Yeah, whatever. Anyway, he sees his girl. <clears throat> he will then gesture. This is the land known as Eldashar Kai. A realm like a wasteland. And indeed, some of the most savage, brutal, but toughest elves I've ever seen. Indeed, amongst most of the humanoid races, the Shar Kai are built on battle and death. And they are some of the strongest warriors that the world has ever known. They serve their god of death, Aladine. However, it would seem that they are in a deep recovery. Aladine's death in the previous iteration has caused all sorts of problems. Indeed, there is a great civil war deciding the future of this once noble continent now turned into a vapid waste but without any of the really cool reasons now it's just the suffering without the sword a tragic thing but it is what it is it is represented by the numerological representation of three specifically the three great rivers that scour the continent and is one of the actual few places in which one can find life Truly, it is marvelous that anyone has lived for any such time, any such of length of time at all, to be quite honest. 
And there's a story here. Oh, yes, of course. As he starts to adjust the stone. Mr. Cornelius, you you speak rather loudly. Are you not worried that people within the portal will hear you? Oh, I don't give a shit. Should should we be quiet? Sure. You should be quiet. Oh, okay. This is the place with no druids, right, Cornelius? Well, He kind of just kind of throws his hands up a little bit. Uh, uh, You said there was no druids. You said there were druids, but they had a very hard time. You see, the problem problem is is that there aren't druids the way that you're thinking of druids. But their druids are, well, they're acolytes of death, my friend. Oh. Yes. What the fuck? See, when you think of a druid, you probably think of things like, ooh, I like flowers, protect the animals, make a tree grow. Their druid is, praise be to Aladine, the further investment of my life, uh, murder time, kill, kill. It, it's, it's, well, honestly, it's more than that, but it, it is, it is what it is. Being a druid there sounds fun, what? Well. It's one of those things, I suppose. I guess we're all the, uh, a little different. Do the numbers in, in portals correspond to the numbers he pointed out on the globe with the continent? They do. Okay. Perfect. Wait a second. Perfect. Also, another question. Is this the the place referred by... Uh, what was the wizard? The wizard Tiered's note where he was talking about the three rivers? Are you are you asking me or Cornelius that? Cornelius. Most likely. I don't know any other three tri rivers together that would be quite the same. But anyway, as I was saying, the three great rivers are essentially the last semblance of life that this ashen wasteland has at its beck and call. And They are currently in a civil war, deciding their fate. And unfortunately, because they're elves, this will take forever for them to decide. My goodness gracious. Elves do everything slowly, even killing each other. Hold on, I've almost got it calibrated. I don't really see the point in killing slowly. Hmm. Must have some of the best hunters around then. If the lands are so dangerous. Hey, you are. Oh, looks like this one's also active. More unawakened traveler souls, though. Unfortunate. Oh, that one's name's a bit easier to understand. You said their god perished, right? Well, yes. Oh. Stopped being real. I, I'm not really sure which happened. Hmm. I I just kind of related it to how Metheria vanished, but there's still power there to an empty chair, like you mentioned. Sure. Are they going through a similar thing? Maybe. Hmm. Anyway, I'll continue. Yeah. Let's go. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound of casting. Wait, can I insight Cornelius? Sure. Uh, all I'm working off of is he before he left, he mentioned Mirror Demon. Actually, Laza did. And he's like, oh shit, I gotta go check on it. And then he's forgotten. Um, well, I wouldn't know what assumptions, but he, him saying, like, was I the one who wrote this? Who knows? Um, I want to insight that. Be like, is this guy the same? Is he is he my, still my favorite? <laughs> I'll, I'll inspire that. Uh, 
Hey, that, that's a solid row. You don't need to burn inspiration. I'm burning it. In 22. Yes. It is the same person. Or right. creature. Keep an eye out for my boy. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Where are we? Are. Ah! And this particular... Oh, great. He'll kind of look almost disappointed. And then there's this place. Got a like history with this one? Enjoy if you don't like it. All mm. right. Come on, let's go. All right. This is a place known as Glaeus. A verdant sort of continent filled to the brim with more people than I think anywhere else, actually, on, on the other continents. Last I checked, anyway, it had the highest population. There is a lot of nonsense going on here. Entire factions formed on the fact of where they were born. Can you imagine? Just because you're from the north, that means you're different from people from the south. What what a what a completely juvenile way in which to view the world. What's worse, they base it upon what they were born next to. A river clan? A fire clan? My goodness. At least put a little time and effort into it. But, anyway, there's a lot of fluctuations here, and many that are still active. I've been told about this place. Not much. Hmm. Must be rather eventful with all the people there. Ah, this is quite rare. It seems the... The highest permutation of the undulations appear to be a, a sort of almost twinned existence. If you'll look here, it seems that these individuals are currently still in the midst of their great journey. Hmm. Fighting great beasts, raising a child, parenting. Well, whatever. There you have it. Gleas of, Gleas, of course, is represented by the number four, which represents the four traditional elements. Although Gleas does have a fifth, which is a, well, artificial element interposed by the pale. Well, not really by him, but that's not important. The point is that the four natural elements are found here, as he gestures towards the very, very far north of what appears to be an almost four-leaf clover-looking island. This would depict the four base elements and therefore the numerology of four, as well as the four different cardinal directions which seem to have the most potent hold over the continent's fluctuations of life. Very important. I'm almost back. So this is the first one with the, with the souls are active. You said, indeed. And apparently being watched carefully by Raquel. Hmm. How hard is it to get from Galeas to to Corvanus? About as hard as it is talking to you about your master that you want to bring back to life. <laughs> Exceedingly difficult, but not impossible. Interesting. I'm just curious. Well, we're moving on. And here we have a land known as Corvanus. As of right mm, now... Go ahead, Marlo. As of right now, it seems to be the most potent in terms of... <clears throat> life undulations of the ley lines. It is ruled numerologically by the number five, representing the five great spirits, or boundaries, I suppose you might look at it. Oh, yes, there's quite a few traveler souls here. He starts beeping through them. Oh, 
Oh my goodness! Oh wait, 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 wait! Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up a little, back up, 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 back up a little bit, 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 just a little bit, just a little bit. I've always wanted to do this. Go, go there. Yeah, yeah. You'll uh. Oh, this screen is is in a terrible place. I'm going to get a really bad. There we go. All right, here we go. All right, every everyone, look, look at me, look at me, and you will see, you will see him hold up his his bony hand into a fist above to the top left of his head and then leave it like lean it a little bit behind his skull and then flip off the air behind him and then you will hit the stone and you will see all of you and him flipping himself off <laughs> did you see that guy i'd sure like to pick his bones interesting trick oh my goodness so we are being watched as well well of course you have traveler souls this how, is was, hard. how else did you think that you were able to make it here why because you tried really hard uh, no you just watch us it. little no, awkward I mean, i'm not watching you the library is well i mean we, we got here because we just spotted it but I, I'm guessing you're saying that was like divine fate or some point. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. It was fate. Woo! <laughs> fate seems real enough. There are things in motion and yes, somebody yes, watching. Yes. Fate is both real and bullshit. <clears throat> hmm. He will poke, poke his head outside of the portal. You heard me! Don't but, um, worry, if I make her pissed off at me enough, she'll forget all about you, friend. Nar just kind of stares at the and portals. Can I, can I insight check that? Go ahead. Okay, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I feel like I'd believe that. He is trying to piss off the Matron of Fate. Nar is staring to see he if He does not care happens. and if it actually helps you. Well, there you go. You've seen that one. That one's boring. You've already known everything. Come on. Go Wait, hold on. Why am I walking? Is that a... Well, oh, no. Is this again. the mirror thing you were talking about? Whether we could, you know, see our own traveler souls? What? Those connected to it? Or is that something else? No. Well. No. You meant our refractions. And shut up. <laughs> yeah. I'm on the bridge ah. this time. And here we have Wixar! Wix, Wix, White Star! As it is known in the Taladonic tongue, but it has taken on the far more amenable title of the Yggdrasil Isles. Although, to be perfectly honest, I think it's, I think it's perhaps maybe a little bit pretentious to name your islands after the world tree, but oh well, whatever. This particular place is ruled by the numerological representation of six, and indeed the great astral traveler's presence can be felt even here, as the normal separations that exist between the different continental drifts, the abyss, are very fervent here, actually separating each island into its own almost parallel world that exists alongside themselves. These islands are protected by the great world serpents, the Yogan Mandas which keep out the Leviathans and other such riffraff. It would seem, right now, there is yet another one of those unawoke, unawakened traveler souls discussing things with one of the Yogenmunda. Hmm, I should come back here and check on this. This looks like it's going to get spicy. So if each of those are their own independent content, continent... Separated by the void, why count the continents as eight? Why not count them as thirteen? Oh, why are these counted as one? You're asking? Yeah. Ah, because they are connected hey, to the same ley line, of course. Each oh. each of these are so separated. ley lines are what differentiate continents effectively. Uh, more or less, it is the uh, how would you say it? the flavoring of mana. It's quite different depending on how many branches you have, the allocation of those. Think of it that each ley line is like a person. 
Each one is different, and all are equally disappointing. Uh, a branch Whee! on the same tree, so to speak. Yeah, sure, because they're all family members or something like that. So, that one also had a ship there. Yes. Do you know what a ship is? Like a big boat. Wow, you did it! All right. <laughs> anyway, this is Calcatesh. The seven pointed. Uh, the seven pointed ley line. Indeed, a Reno. It is one of the most potent indeed. It seems currently there's a war between the different magical factions. The War of Scars has already started. Oh my goodness, I really have to check in on this. And look! Several traveler souls. Some are remnants of their awakened part, but most are unawakened. Oh my, this is going to be a very big one. But... That's no surprise. This is where the enemy was defeated, after all. This current time? Well, yes. Oh. Or more, more accurately, last time. Wait. Mr. Marlow, are you missing a war or something? Mm, I might be. If I, I took a boat to... Majital. Now, I would I would be seeing this. I could stare through the other side of this portal to you. Oh yes, come here. It'll kind of like point, and then it'll zoom in. Oh boy, it's time for some deep notes. I'm gonna run while you do get gather those. You're gonna run? Where are you running to? Uh, as quoted by my favorite teammate, uh, pee pee poo poo time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope that fucking portal consumed you whole. The toilet portal? You sound so so mad. <laughs> I'm, I'm just grumpy, and I'm like, it, it sets my baseline at like negative three. And I'm like, with a little bit of a reach, I can get to like negative five. Why? Why are you so grumpy? I just had a rough day. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry you had a rough day, buddy. That's all good. Listening to uh, my favorite person. <laughs> Listening to. <laughs> not not Arcadum, uh, Cornelius Blackmore. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm, all right. That's fair. Shoves Arcadum out of the way. I want that one. <laughs> Just gonna go find my um. Yeah. Nah, I I can't say that around my wife. <laughs> I'll get mad. <laughs> <coughs> Hold on. I need to make sure I don't. Oh God. I hope I didn't lose this. That would be fucking right. terrible. Alright. Fastest there is. I'm back. I still shit faster than you did. <laughs> Bro. Certainly. I shit so fast. Yeah, they, uh... They go in different gears, alright? Yeah, when I was grabbing the hot dogs, I shit so fast it actually hurt for a second. Only for a second, though. The prophecy <laughs> forgot to mention this day when I knocked your ass back to Gandalf the Grey. <laughs> you ever get, like, butthole cramps? <coughs> no. It's the... F it feels like somebody's putting a knife in your asshole. It's the worst feeling in the world. I... will take your word for it. There are other feelings that I'm aware of, but not that one, I guess. Hold on. Ah, oh, damn it. Fuck, it's been so long since I looked at these. Can't read his chicken scratch anymore. It's been a while. Y'all ever look back at your notes and, and are unable to read? 
your handwriting yeah. from years ago. Half of them in front of me. <laughs> yeah. Deep in my notes. So many notes. Eat and my chicken oh, scratch. My oh, my... I wish younger apparently, me uh, more. Apparently, my thurl is Aldefuf. Whatever that means. <laughs> Aldefuf. Aldefuf. Mithril. Here's a question for you, Mr. Dr. Cornelius. If this is supposed to be a neutral ground for the gods and they're not supposed to intervene, did Gruul um, transgress beyond the boundaries of this library? Oh, no, no. Did he no. step too far out of bounds? No, 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 no. That was just... She's just being a bitch. <laughs> Does that mean that she's going to get us when we get out? She probably or... doesn't even remember you. Oh, nice. Uh, Nar thinks back to that book she read <laughs> about all the gods. <laughs> oh, I don't know if this is the wrong time to ask this, but can I bring a friend? Uh, he, he's soulbound. He's a familiar from Corvanus. Who? Uh, his name's Alucard. Oh, he's sure. A, he's a daemon. Oh, Damon. Oh, wow. He's also uh, lawful evil aligned, so I think he'll get along. <coughs> sure. Whatever you say. Hold Probably on. share a lot of opinions on the value of people. I'm losing my fucking mind trying to find this. That. Then I had to have put it somewhere else. be so mad at myself if I lost this. I mean, I have the prophecy, but... I have misplaced the folder. Oh, no. I might have to go looking for it somewhere else, but anyway, he uh, he kind of zooms you in a little bit, and he shows you that each of the different pyramids represent a different scarab lord of Majital's past. Um, each one, each of each of the nine there is, the nine pyramids raised represent a different scarab lord of the past. Some of them you can see are dormant, either they are not participating or their leader is dead. But there are some that are, and there is one that is particularly pressing out, and you can see that Majital is a flame. Uh, magical fire rains down on top of it. The Mages Guild are holding out in Mirage, trying to maintain their autonomy as these, these Scarab Lords reach out across the sands, turning that which was desolate into plentiful and that which was peaceful into war and death. And this is happening now, you said. Oh yes, right now. It would seem our time spent here has uh, allowed much to happen back in your hometown or country my calculation I lost almost a decade a lot can happen I haven't been back to Majadal in probably 20 years add those together is anyone you know in danger like... uh, 
one, one or two for sure. Mage's Guild, but... I, mean, I feel like I should do something, but I'm... I don't know if I'm obligated to. And I'm... I'm There's so much magic there. I mean, Will you regret it if you don't do anything? That's a question for future me. All right. Well, anyway, no. the point is, there you go. Look at that. That's very cool and all that. All right, come over here. <coughs> hmm. All right. And so we come to the last. This particular door, as you can see, it bears no markings at all except for this one. And you see this. Eight. Two circles placed at the top of each other. Ah, yes, and the common tongue is referred to numerologically as eight, but it in fact is the talodonic symbol for twice nothing or absolute nothing. Think of it like the big zero. It means null, as in the nullification of magic, and uh, this is essentially a space, as he taps it, in which we can construct additional portals, um, cleanse ourselves of anam uh, 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 anemones, an an anomalies, of other such places as well. And in this portal, you see that there is nothing on the other side except the Astral Sea. Hmm. Uh, I think oh. my token broken. Uh oh. I can't move myself. Oh, if you were moving while you're being moved, you gotta move yeah. where you wanted to move to, I think. It'll make two tokens, but it'll vanish in a minute. There you go. What the? Okay. Did you want to go with them, Marlo? Right. Uh, Marlo's just kind of staring at the portal for a minute. Okay. It'll walk back in a sec. And then he'll kind of point all that out. So you just make new portals? Once well, again, I don't. Sometimes the library does. Interesting. Is, is there anything beyond this? Well, of course there's things beyond this. All of the expanses of creation, although the library cannot reach outside of the world of this 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 world itself. The, the, the seven realms that you've seen, it can't reach outside of those. So, the, the other stars, the other planes of existence... You'll have to reach those another way if you wanted to, for example. And if I, like, squint out and just try and see anything, do I am I able to spot anything? You just see the stars. Much closer than you've ever seen them. Hmm. Do you... Do you know what these stars are here? Hmm? You know, um, I believe them. that's the Cassica Nebula, but uh, astronomy was one of my lesser disciplines. I always found looking at the stars to be boring. But don't let Nosferatu hear you say that. That man will lose his shit. Oh, the stars are everything, Cornelius. That's how we can blah, 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 blah. I was defeated by a dinosaur. <laughs> mm. I'm serious. Great wizard. Powerful magics. Defeated by a dinosaur. A T-Rex! Just... Just eating him. Why would you let him get that close? I feel like I'm missing some context. A, a oh. T-Rex some form of ambush predator? Yeah, it's just a big one. It's a big, it's a big mouth. Hmm. M more or less. Anyway, and these are the soul shrouds. Or rather, the shrouds of the traveler's souls that we can see. I guess. And there you are. That concludes this part of the tour. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them, and I may answer them. Or ignore them. Or lie. Ooh! <laughs> Can't seem to think of anything. Seems really? like another wing of the library. Wow, to, uh, that's observe. a surprise. <laughs> There's a lot happening, but... There was, um... A group that I, uh, well, pissed Raquel off, I guess, apparently, to contact. Who's Raquel? I seen uh, the name Goddess of Time, and that wasn't the one. Matron of Fate is the one that you probably angered by interfering with the fates of another, but 
She's a, uh, oh, I can't say that word. Not in mixed company. <laughs> oh, uh, apologies. I got them mixed up. I haven't exactly had a lot of knowledge of them. It, and is she known for punishment? She's apparently a bitch. You, you are, you are so afraid. What is she gonna do? I. <laughs> that is my question. Mr. Cornelius. Let me, if, let me if... explain. Let me explain what she's going to do. Right. She is going to get in your dreams and tell you that you're a bad boy and give you a naughty spanking. All right. Uh, just don't reveal to her that you like that because she'll stop doing it. Okay. And it's a very um, big problem. And, I don't. I don't. Indeed, sleep. I have never had my bone teased more than by that blind heart. Oh. Well, no. in that case, you're fine. Because she primarily goes through dreams. Although, sometimes she does appear in mirrors and, and other such things. Like portals, I guess. But If I may, Mr. Oh, Cornelius. Oh, and also the, the red one threads. Of, yes, one halfling. Of reasons, one of the reasons Mr. Nenonoth may be concerned is you seem to approach uh, the topics of gods and fate and everything rather in a quotidian and mundane way. Uh, he seems... This this may be much bigger to us than he'll he'll you. narrow his eye ridges. Do you even know what the word quotidian means? Yes, it means daily, regular, every day. Do you? Did I just explain to you a new word? No. Oh, good. Anyway, putting aside Nara your writes down on her note continually. Putting away your shallow and pedantic attempts to sound entirely more intelligent than you are, small halfling. Ah. Allow me to reiterate. Will the goddess of fate be angry that you interfered with the fate of another? Yes. Do I think you should care? No. As long as you are not a child wandering around inside of a forest with no weapons, you should be fine. The matron of fate, as much of a bitch as she can be, is not a um, vindictive individual. She knows that most likely what you did came from a good place, and she'll most likely give you a scolding. She might even, oh, I don't know, turn you into a newt for a year. It's not going to be something that'll last forever. You'll be fine, you'll get over it, and the people that you interfered with will hopefully, if you intended good, have good things happen to them. Or if you intended terrible things, their entire home, uh, their house will lose all respect within the kingdom, their budgets will run out, they will, of course, lose all of their business interests to your hostile takeover, and then at the very end, after you have literally bought their family home, you will set it on fire, piss on the ashes, and then give that man his key back. I feel like we just listened to a fantasy. No, oh, it was no fantasy. Anyway, let's continue with your tour. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Matron of Fate seems nice. Adds to the list. I suddenly don't want to look at the mirror anymore. Oh, listen. I read a book about her and all the other gods. She's one of the fine ones, apparently. Fine. Yes. Huh. One of the ones you want to look out for is some, probably a lock and high, honestly. That's me. Mr. Nenoth, if I've observed anything, it's if Miss Na is not concerned, then we should probably not be either. So, she tends to panic as often as you. <laughs> hmm. I say, this... fuck him. If there's nothing else you wish to do here, I can take you on to the next stage of your tour. Swig, are you coming? No. I mean, yes, <laughs> he, yes, he is. <laughs> He's on with the tour, then. Very well. <sighs> Let's see. Well, I suppose, then. Where would you like to go next? There's many options. Uh, I can show you to the Arcanist's Lounge. I can show you to the Great Library and Oratorium, where you can find all manner of spells and knowledge for your heart's content. I can take you to the Prismatic Study. I can also take you to... 
the Astral Observatory, if you wish. I would prefer the prismatic study up next, but weren't we on our way to the mirrors to see our refractions? Oh, is that where you wanted to go next? Apologies. He'll check his tour book. Oh. I guess so. Hmm. Very good. Oh, actually, we can just do that here. You want to see your refractions? Uh, can we? Without offending anyone or upsetting some terrible balance? I suppose that is a yes. Come here, Laza. I'm going to get you a refractor. In the, in the null room? Oh boy. <clears throat> a null room. All right. Let's see here. It should be noted that before I go any further, if you gaze upon your own refraction, it may cause who knows what to happen. And also, under no circumstances are you to attempt to communicate or touch your refraction. Do we understand one another? Understood. I, uh, okay. Yeah, I think I picked it up this time. So you yeah. All right, good. Who would like to go first? Who's Mr. Marlow, maybe? Or... Oh, let's see here. Hmm. Uh, you know, cast a spell on you. Right, let's see here. Slight adjustment there. And a little bit of... A little bit of Monica for my life. What strange magical words. A little bit of you makes me your man. Foreign music is rather strange. All right. It has that feel. According to this, you have three total refractions. Other than yourself, which of the other two would you like to see? There is one. I don't know of them. Let's see. There is one whose name is... Oh, can't tell you that. <laughs> nice try. Let's see here. Let's see. There is one. Uh, a wizard. And the other... Oh, the other one is unawakened. Isn't that exciting? I can't see the unawakened one. That's the one that you're you can't show me. I can show you that. Here, look. It's just a black space. See, that's the problem. It's not awakened yet. It could be anything or nothing at all. Oh. But it seems that you're connected to a story. Hmm. Seems this future one. It, Future one is connected to this. Oh. So number one. It appears so. That's the numerological representation. Although these sort of things update and change all the time, so it could be anything, really. You might even refract again. Wouldn't that be exciting? And expensive. You mentioned that there was one that I couldn't see. No, you can see all of them. Show I just can't tell you its name. Oh, okay. You want to um, see the other one? Sure, yeah. You see a pierced rain cloud, and atop it, there is a great spire of metal and stone. You see a mysterious man with a coffin on his back and it seems that he is joined by two other strangers that you do not recognize. They weave their spells together and a creature composed of many eyes is blown backwards. The man has a grim determination and a focus 
that seems oddly familiar. Do I, I share a soul with that person? Indeed you do! Refractory note. I'd like it back if I could. What? <laughs> but that seems unfair. That, that doesn't make I, sense. I, you can't take it back. Well, you already have it. It's yours. You can't take that back. Any more than you could take your own arm and put it back on yourself. I mean, I guess you like... could, but it wouldn't do anything. That's fair. Is this kind of like your problem things. with blood? Kind of, yeah. I don't mind sharing. I could even share my underwear, technically, but... Gross. I'd be a little weirded out by that, but... Yeah. Within the bounds of reasonability. The, this whole soul-sharing thing. Oh, that's your problem. You're looking yeah. at it as if you're sharing the soul. You're not sharing anything. You are the same. This is simply a different side. A different perspective, I suppose you might say. It's a facet on a gem. It is the same as any of the rest of the gem. Although, perhaps, I suppose, in this many sides, the two of you are clearer. Perhaps cut a bit better. Thank you for showing me this. No, oh, you're welcome. Um, is there a place to shit into the air elementals? Oh, yes. Um, Just off the edge somewhere? Yes, I'm, I'm sure you could conjure a bathroom somewhere. And... No shitting <laughs> oh. in the other soul shrouds. <laughs> We've already had that happen once, and it was a big problem. Just do it off the edge into space. No, 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 he said we could conjure bathrooms. He slipped. There are Marlo bathrooms here. Marla looks at his non-level 9 spellcasting hands. Well, if I think about it enough, a bathroom will just appear, probably, yes. I want to blind her. What? What? I feel like that wouldn't be too difficult for Wait, you. Where, where did you go, Marlo? <laughs> he's just walking off the edge. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna shit and smoke off the edge and then do something stupid after you guys are Most done like... looking at refractions. No, I guess. Well, I don't know how long it'll take, but it'll get in a good four minutes. Uh, I guess I'll step up if no one else does. Mm. We'll do it in order. Hmm. Proceed. Let's see. Oh, look! There's your refraction. Oh, and you also have another one that's unawakened. Hmm. Oddly enough, it's also in the same area as the other one. Isn't that strange? But look! The clear refraction's here. Oh, you're a rock person! That's strange. Look, he's fighting so bravely. Mm. What well, can you tell me about this refracted? My well, I soul. cannot tell you their name nor how to contact them. That's against the rules. But I, what I can tell you is that you share one trait that apparently seems to be a core trait. Mm. A history of thievery, my friend. Isn't that strange? Indeed. Oh. I don't mind that trait. It's to benefit half the time. Hmm. Interesting. Thank you, I will. Hmm. A rock person. Anyone else? Oh damn. Seems like I was pushed to the front of the line. <laughs> It's unfair. I can't walk. These are these guys. <laughs> now, darn, it's it seems you just moved up there. Strange. <laughs> oh, hello there. All right, let's see what we got. Yet another unawakened traveler. So very strange. Ah, here's your other one. Oh, my. Oh. Uh, you will see a dwarf chained up in front of two knights. 
his freakishly bald head shining like a light. Chrome, <laughs> you recognize that dwarf. Wait, 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 wait. Is that the blind bandit? Ooh, the plot thickens! Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Hello. As you, uh, as you see Chrome walk up and say that, you will see the dwarf stirs and looks up. As if he recognizes the voice. Uh -oh. The knights will look around. Trying to find the source of the voice. Oh, would you look at that? You could interfere again. Hmm? You want to interfere? You want to interfere? You want to interfere? Uh, not, not you, him, him. You can't do it because you're the same. Mm -hmm. Is he a friend? Is he hiding some from someone? Oh, let's take a look. He is currently captured by the Inquisition. Oh. No doubt he's good. being interrogated most harmfully. He's a good fellow. This is a way to Not aid for him some way. Well, I suppose I could open his chains with a simple spell. Um, would you like that? Uh, give him a... Uh, what's the thing he's called? Thieves to him. Let him do it himself. He has to work Fair for Fair enough. It. I'll wait for the guard. Oh, hold on. Let me, I'll be right back. And Cordelius will just hop in and we'll turn into a rat. Huh. And we'll climb up Yagul's leg and put the thief's tools in his hand and then we'll leap out. <laughs> there we go. You will see a flash <laughs> of an angry woman once again. Oh! Look who raised her big fat ass again! What are you gonna do about it? Hmm? Hmm? This is a no deity zone. This right here ain't shit you can do about it, is there? <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh, look, he's breaking himself out. Oh, I wonder what unforeseeable rippling consequences this will have across the entire space of play. Nars just kind of like, pardon, maiden. I see. No, Nar, Miss Nar, you see, there's a loophole. We have to leave here eventually, but Mr. Cornelius never has to deal with the Matron of Fate, as this is a deity-free zone, as he says. Are you saying that I'm afraid to face her? I'm saying you You're never saying have I to can't? worry about it. I'm saying you are a professional, uniquely qualified. Oh, yes, thank you. All right, who's next? Pushes. <laughs> oh, I guess that's me. All hmm. right, let's see what fair maiden you turned out to be. Oh my goodness! Look at that what? mustache. That is handsome. Ah. All right, you can see that there is a large mustached man fighting alongside the wizards you saw previously. You can see that as they are blasting one of the beasts out of the sky. The incredibly handsome Theo is fighting off two approaching from the stairs. His face is a grimace of concentration. His mustache wriggles in defiance. Huh. Hmm. I guess rippling musculature runs in your uh, soul. Some extent, I wish I could be like him. Uh, once again, you are you, him. You, you, you I are. am him. You, you are, are him. yes. I am. Why is this Nav. so difficult for you to understand? Because I'm, I'm me. Miss Na, the giant mustache runs in your soul. That well, is a strange sentence that I feel like Marla would say. I guess <laughs> uh, now she's going to be mad. Now is the time. Might as well face it. This will be interesting. Mm, let's see. Another unawoken one, similar to everyone else. Oh, what's this? Let's see what you... Oh, my! Uh, uh, two old people are having sex. 
Oh no! Oh no! Uh, he'll, he'll turn off I the screen. Don't, I don't want to see that either. Uh, thank, 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 thank you. Well, Mister Nimenoff. It looks like at least one of you have a working bone. <laughs> oh, uh, was it the? Well, I couldn't really tell which was which between the wrinkles, but I I'm couldn't either. One of them. It looked like yes, you were one of them. I presume the male, and you were just giving it to him. I mean, you are slamming it. Please. That's plenty. It was like watching two old leather gloves based in Vaseline Ugh. trying to fight for dominance. Ugh. It was like two freshly wetted fish tacos slapping together. Mouth, hand straight to mouth. Of, uh, one of I ten. How much fun are you having right now? Oh, me? I'm a solid five right now. Get back in line with your backstory of sadness. Hold All right, get up here. Some is there, mysterious. Before, before we look, is there is there a benefit to to knowing? I mean, I'm curious, of course. I, I mean, want to see if I'm a big yes. muscly mustache man. The benefit is knowledge. You never know when such knowledge might come in handy. Hmm. I suppose so. All right, let's have a look. Oh, you have an unawakened one. Oh, you actually have quite a few. Look. Oh, oh, that's a corpse. That one is dead. Unfortunately. What does that mean? Well, it means, um, that one's dead. Hmm, that would explain why this facet is almost gone. Nearly faded. Interesting. Oh, here we are. Here's a fresh one that's still operating. Oh, look, you're a tiny little Chaos Knight halfling. Oh, it looks like you're training with a bunch of dead people. Uh, oh, look, wait, what? this helmet's about to be dramatically taken off and turned towards our camera. Oh, look, your Tellry Lantern Bridge. Oh. <laughs> no, what? just stairs. Oh. What does that mean? Nara puts a hand up to her mouth. Oh, tell her. You, you married no, yourself? I'm not, I'm not him. That... Of course you are. No. Wait, yeah, I'm, I'm with Chrome. You married yourself? Well, a lot of, a lot oh. of traveler souls marry themselves. Uh, oh, well, I mean, at least. Well, no, that's not true. They. Hmm. Well, it doesn't ever really I... successfully work out, I guess. It's weird. Well, well good, because I wasn't going to do but it. But self-love is important. Tell me, do the two of you ever make mouth noises with each other? No, we've never even hold hands. We've... Oh, so you're a bunch of prudes then. Uh, I just met him. Well, I, don't I got worry. To know him from a week. That means that's a, good, that's a good thing in this case. Your disappointing love life means that the two of you did not accidentally do things you're not supposed to do once you're both awakened. I don't know the order of what you awakened in, but now that you're both awakened, it is imperative that you do not A, hold hands, B, kiss, or C, propose coitus in any way, shape, or form. It could lead to disastrous results. Well, I can assure you we are plenty safe from that. Sure, whatever you say. I've seen this before. Oh, we're through. I never... <gasps> Tell me. And then you explode. Or whatever happens. It's not really clear what happens when two travelers' souls meet. Or rather, the same it's... facets, I should say. Mm. The I point the is, is it's not image. a good idea. Uh, what'd you say? I see the spear in the image. You do. The he's, o he's over there doing sit-ups and push-ups. Hmm. You can also see that there are several of the... Uh, you also see that someone approaches him. You see what appears to be a small halfling-like creature... Wearing a white hat and a white dress. As she approaches, you can see that she is currently wheeling and dealing with the um, with the background risen. Uh, you can see a lovely, ornate looking set of splint mail and several other pieces of armor and weapons being sold betwixt them. You see that Telri will approach the um, very expensive looking armor. And you will see that he oddly moves his fingers over it. 
and you could see a tattoo on his forehead, open like a great eye. Oh, that looked ominous, wouldn't you hmm. say? Oh. oh, I guess his third eye is being true. awoken. He was talking about. Yeah, because he oh, had an eye. A lot of an eye thing. I didn't really believe it. Yeah. <sighs> It's... That would be fine. He's a he has a piece of all of us with him. No, I woke up this up morning. A piece of paper. I didn't think that this is how my day would turn out. Oh. Yeah, that's fair enough. What does it... one do with this kind of information? Is that like an open portal or something? Since she knows the name, does that make anything different? Yes, no, it's definitely an open portal. Oh, it's a very big yeah. problem, but I couldn't really avoid it. It was too tantalizing. Well, so I know his name. What is tell me. Oh, so the rest of you are screaming it in your head. Eventually, she was going to find out. <laughs> well, well, Nar takes a piece of paper, looks at the open portal. Ducks it through. <laughs> what? Miss Nah, what are you doing? A piece of paper what are you doing? in front of Tellry, who looks around wildly and then picks it up. There's another flash of anger from a woman on the other side of the portal. Nah will then <laughs> bow and say, sorry, madam. <laughs> oh, she is so pissed. Oh yeah, you guys can have nightmares, can't you? Oh, that was that's so good. She's so mm. mad. Writing a message and then throwing it to somebody is one of the worst things you could do when interfering. Because they can now follow you back here. <laughs> well, this sounds like a good transition spot. All right, Marlo, what do you want to do? Um, I'm thinking. No. What, what, ah, uh, fuck. I, this might be one of the only times Cornelius is distracted. So, I, I might, I'm still shitting and smoking, but, um, I might do, I'll do history mastery on this place. Okay. Oh, boy. Just be clear, you're talking to this ghost while shitting, right? Yeah. I'm not actually, well, I probably shat. The, the shit probably came out, but I stole my pants down. Yeah. You know, just, All you know, clear right. the scene. Alright, as you use History Mastery, the manifestation appears to be someone who is not Cornelius. But an elf, the shadowy form a little bit clearer, possibly more than normal. You can see that they bear a strange semblance of clothes you don't recognize. And their skin is gray and cracked. And it awaits your questions. Who is this library? Did you mean to ask it that way? I did, because Cornelius kept referring to the library as if it was a person. So I wanted to ask as if it was a person. The creature that responds is...
the creature will answer, Soko, Ahsoka Calceto Ka. Oh, let me uh, get that my sorry. notes. Kasai, sorry. Soka Calceto Kasai. That's it. I will put it in notes for you. When asked about um, being able to learn anything in this library, Cornelius hesitated for a moment and said, uh, he hesitated and skipped over something. Is there something that is hidden that is not available to read? The designation is not whether or not something can be learned. It is whether or not something should be learned. The library contains the knowledge of that which has happened, that which is, and that of what is suspected to be. There have been many crimes in the past that wait to be repeated from the unguarded mind. I can't pop another one until I move locations, right? So I gotta pop, I gotta pull the trigger now, effectively. Correct. That is the limiter of this ability. Like, I don't know if I'd know this. If this this would be known information, but I'll ask it anyway. Um, does the corpse of Sephira still remain here, hidden in a tome, or is that reclaimed? In your mind. Whom are you thinking of when you say Sephira? Blue. No, no. Uh, oh, um. Oh, shit. Uh, a human woman, blue. If a shell is a corpse, their pieces yet remain. Within the prismatic study, you can find the answers that you seek. But that which is at rest has earned it so. A request from the master of the house to the guest. Let them rest. And the visage will disappear. Arlo will pull his pants up and give a little, little nod to that.
Anyway, that's why it's a bad idea. And remember, you are already them. So there's nothing you can do about it now, so stop freaking out. Please stop crying all over my floor. It's just so confusing. I think that situation you're in is quite hilarious. You and Terry. It's not. Soul. It's terrible. Kind of explains a lot. What does it even mean? What do you, you mean, what does it mean? More ways than one. It means that a soul found its way into both of your bodies, refracted because it was powerful enough, and so the two of you have been given great potential. He has made his choice, and you have made yours. You believe that you are separate, and you are not. You're the same, yet you are not. These things are both true. The paradoxical definition of a traveler's soul is one of the great mysteries of this world, yet to be fully explored and fully explained. But what we do know is this. It is one of the few times in which this paradox is not a paradox. It both is and it is not. You are the same, but you are different. Both are true in every single definition that matters. But what is expected of a traveler's soul? Should I help myself? Nothing is expected of you, except what it is that you desire. So I can make my own choices. This of doesn't matter. Of course you can. It, yes. do, do you really think that you're bound by fate? Of course not. You are guided by fate. That lady seems to think so. Oh, of course she does, because she's a bitch. Listen, you listen to me. He casts Summon Halfling. Ah, now you listen to me, and you listen well. Just like it was with my family in our day, if this lady here had had her way, I would have died destitute, poor, unloved, with a swollen belly from hunger and death on the streets... on the streets of Dalton. But I didn't. Because I changed my fate. Your fate <laughs> is not set, but neither can it de deviate. Both things are true. I was born poor. I was born with no help and no love within my life. That is something that fate gave to me. It is not unfair, nor is it fair, it simply is. It took a long time for me to understand what fate is. It is order in chaos. It both is and is not. It is the paradox of those two alignments rubbing together. Just as good and evil have its morals and its gray area, the gray area of law in chaos is fate. But here's where the difference is, little halfling. Your fate is what you make it to be. Because the threads can be broken, the chains can be assumed, and you can ascend beyond anything that anyone could have ever thought you could be. The difference between you and someone else is your willpower. And may I also remind you, young lady, you have been granted a traveler's soul, which is more of an advantage than anyone could ever hope for. For while most are limited by fate of their potential, you are not. And so, my suggestion is to realize what you are and embrace it. Use it as your armor, and it cannot be used to hurt you. You have strength in your weakness, power in your circumstance, glory in your position. It is one thing to look around to the side and behind and be woeful and despair at what fates intertwined. But if you look towards the future, there you see it, that fate's threads are yet unwinded. So stop bitching about it. I'll try. 
Not to. I have a weird question about fate. Has there been anyone that's then, um, not Bill connected to fate? Almost, they stand beside it. Once, almost fate. You could say it. There are those that exist, yes. But they are dangerous mm. individuals. As much as a bitch as she is, the matron of fate's position is imperative. And those within the weave must take their place. For those that step outside of it weaken the weave for all. And a fate too weak may lead to the enemy again. Or something similar to it. Be careful of those that abhor fate completely. That those that try to step outside of the system. Make no mistake. It is imperfect, but it is better than nothing at all. To step outside of the confines of law means you strive into chaos. And to step out of the confines of the possibilities of chaos, you are given a stagnant hope. You must have both. And you must hope that Lord Death will see you through. Interesting. I didn't expect a answer, but it is good to know that Fateless are deadly individuals. Um, a question as well, of refraction. If we are connected, is there ways that things could pass between us? Affliction? Power? If you're asking if one side of the facet of your soul can affect the other, it is possible. Unlikely, but possible. I suppose to some regard there is a chance that one might even meet the other as much as I advise against it. My advice is to not care of it. My advice stands for you as well, and for any that would seek out their facet. Understand that you are two separate things, but you are still the same. When one benefits, the other does. Even if they cannot see it, there are many threads that make up the fate of a traveler's soul. The difference is that you can only see one set, one position, one perspective in the grand design. Thank you. Can we go to the next place? Oh, all right. Anyone else have anything they want to do? Any soul-shattering, mind-rending realizations they want to explore? If one does encounter um, the same soul, does one know that they are the same? So not to touch. Not Unclear. Not. There has been some reports that some can sense one another when they are close. There are others that say that one can even see through the eyes of the other from time to time. This is normally during moments of great crisis or intense revelation. But generally speaking, no, there's no known methodology. You may have already met one of your facets, and you may have yet to meet them. Unawakened or not. Hmm. It seems someone did. Indeed. I'll take you to the next place when I'm done pissing out of my bone. I'll be right back. I gotta go pee pee. And poo poo. Yeah, interesting. One, one of us. <laughs> Wait, why is she crying? No. Uh, he fell in love what? with herself. <laughs> like no, I didn't. Nah, I'm right. kidding. I'm giving. He fell in love with me. Did he? He did. Move, breakfast. Oink. Oh, I guess you would know better. At least I think he did. 
I mean, you'll kind of say this one in the whisper. Did you, did you ever mention her? Yeah. I think she has. He has once, but never dropped the name. Hmm. Something about a betrothed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something in the Pill City. Apparently, she was not in. <laughs> well, like he got a little too caught up in his himself and his own stuff. Mm -hmm. You talking I about Tellery? His... Are you crying yeah. about Tellery? Uh, yeah. Uh, apparently, Tellery is the same soul as um, Twilight. Yeah, that makes sense. Refractions. Mine's a rock person. Mine is having Marvel sex. Going day. Mine has a glorious mustache, it, apparently. Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. had the handsomest one. I'm not sure how to take that, but thanks. It's a very good mustache. Hmm. These traveler souls are uh, mysterious indeed. I would understand why it's uh, the greatest unsolved mystery. Certainly comes off as uh, more questions than answers, that's for sure. Yes, I mean, what do you do with this information? Oh, run into Telry one day. Oh, did you know we we both have the same soul? Oh, yes. Just skip right past the small talk. Well, I guess <sighs> if you have the knowledge, now you know not to hug. It is said that you can help one another through some crisis. I don't know what meets that term, but mm. Tori can help you and you can help Tori one day. Mm. Maybe it's something similar to when I was melded, I guess, with the druid. Yes. I was able to speak to him uh, I don't know, to sense through him? It's hard to describe. As if I was experiencing through him. Mr. Swig. Yes? Yours was directly interacted with. How do you feel about that? Oh, yeah. Cool. He, didn't know. he was helped. Um, he's a... Oh. He's... He's a good and not good man, but he's uh, good at heart. You called him a bandit, so I'm assuming uh, an old friend? Yeah. When I uh, led them to the downfall, I was hoping he got out of it. But looks like he has. Hmm. Got himself in new trouble. Mm. Huh. That's okay. That's what my job is to help him, but I give him one less hand and Looks like he could be... Okay. Well, if he's dealing with the Inquisition, he probably he, in a great deal of trouble. He probably did something that he shouldn't, and now he's in chains because of it. Plus, it is the Inquisition. Not really well, a cup of tea of people. Well, uh, Twilight, you work with the, well, the criminal group in the Pale City. Perhaps you could Put out word for him? See if they I was probably have some contacts. I was not really truly involved. I I was oh. I was in training. Um not not for the criminal work or anything. You might know his name. I do have that, but I'm not sure if it's uh he should hear it. Put it in a good it's word, aren't you actively trying to be assassinated isn't someone trying to kill you apparently well or rather they hope I, that i, I die talking about the under you, city, anyway, not the nobility either way you can take my advice for as two cents or whatever but i wouldn't be sending any letters to anybody no i agree that sounds terribly unsafe for for what to to help some man that that you know to be somewhat capable, I'm sure he can take care of himself. Ooh, well, which one are you talking about? Tellery or...? No, the dwarf cares oh. about Tellery. He's apparently doing quite well for himself. Whatever he's doing. 
I care uh, about him. Yeah, we gave him the spear. Well, mostly him, but we helped. I kind of kind of forced you guys to write your names on it, but it was a good it idea. Was, it was a good name. Mm, oh well, oh well. Mr. Chrome, I found you to be a source of. <sighs> you you're a good listener. <laughs> you're a good he gives man. Good advice. Yes, he does. Oh, you needed someone to listen. So I sat down and listened. He has a lot to say. So not much uh, answering for me. Mm. He's helped many of us with such things. The good man. <sighs> Mr. Marlowe, yes. did you gain anything useful here? Oh, before I forget... Not really. You would like to know the the name of your for fraction, just tr your soul, Swig. I'm back, baby. Awesome. Yeah, I'd like to know the name of my refraction. Mm, let me recall what it was. Was it <laughs> E? Y? Uh, oh yeah, it's Yagu. There you go. There you go. That's why I call him the blind man. His name is kind of complicated. Sounds overly complicated for absolute no reason. Mm. True, Swig. I think Swig is a lot easier name. Swig is a perfectly simple name. Yeah, how dry spelling it? Much better than halfling names, after all. Wasn't your original name uh, Garul or something? Yeah, it is <laughs> Garul. Well, this is boring. Where do you want to go next? Uh, anywhere but here. Uh, prismatic section. And I figure we can go to the more um, utilitarian parts after that. Alright. Yeah, I'm good with that. <clears throat> oh! A bit of forewarning. Be very careful with the knowledge that you seek here. The library will not deny you knowledge, but understand that those with an unguarded mind may be destroyed by it. Aha. Uh -huh. Do we have an understanding? Good to know. Everything yes. here has consequence. Got none, it. Of the, uh, none of the primeval awarenessing into portals before consulting everyone type deals, right? Understood. Lesson learned. No more communications in cities. <laughs> I'm sorry, somebody was going to say something else? No, dude, go ahead, go ahead. Off we go, then. You should know in your DM mind that I told Swig about his refracting soul. I heard you. Name. Okay. He says to Cornelius. Yes. Darkness. The man playing Cornelius. Encompassing me. Oh, wait, there is something in the darkness, but it's still dark. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. And here we are. Oh, oh, hold on, it's dark in here. Let me turn the lights Wait. on. No. Bloop. no, it's still so dark. It's let me, let me turn the lights on. Ah, there we go. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> well, have fun. I'm going to be sitting here. Uh, Cornelius, my map hasn't loaded. The reload founder. Uh, yes. This room has a nice shade of lavender. And also, you should go into your bathroom, look yourself in the eye in the mirror, and tell yourself that you are a worthy individual that can accomplish any task. Nar writes that down. <laughs> I don't are know. you saying to love like ourselves? Cornelius. Love ourselves now? What is this room again? I wasn't. No, I wasn't listening. Prismatic, whatever that means. Uh, yes, the prismatic studies. Oh yeah, the color. Yeah, color. I think the temple mentioned it. We visited some time ago. Okay, <laughs> so 
Here's what I'm going to request from you guys. Mm. This is obviously the scary room. So, what do you guys want to know? Because I'm going to have to prep for it. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that right now. So, what do you guys want to know? Tell me the origin of the button. I'm kidding. Hmm. hmm. Going through that list in my head. Uh, do you want us to vocalize it or just write another thread? I mean, you you guys should talk about it first, and then okay. give me a list. I mean, we're we're coming up on session time anyway, which is why I'm telling you to do it. So I can just have that ready for next time because this room's gonna keep us here a while. Mm. Mm. This room can Nar, be crazy. Nar can think of two questions in particular. Most of the questions will have to deal with like, what is amber? Um. Otherwise, I'm curious why it keeps getting brought up that the Violet was an enemy, but doesn't seem to be one now. I think because it was defeated. Yeah, it was mentioned a couple times. Sealed? Yeah, it was mentioned, but Nar would like to expand on that. Hmm. If, if Abel, uh, if, if there's a time to read the Violet Saga, so you have a uh better framework to ask questions. <laughs> Luke, good. what do you mean by the Violet Saga? Do you mean everything that was on stream or everything, the <laughs> stuff that wasn't on stream? That's a big question, the, little buddy, so I need to know what you want to know. Probably the on the on stream stuff. Well, well, yeah, I'd say... Uh, I the, mean, uh, to be clear, uh, all of it is here. So... Which part do you mm. want to go into? Uh, it's separated by iterations. That would be really helpful for me. Is which iteration? I, I I want I wanted Nar to have Legends on stream knowledge so that we could ask, we could debate questions out of character about delving into the things that didn't happen. You on guys stream. can. So it'd you be can more productive. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Okay. You guys have access to player knowledge while you're here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> you were literally showed. Your refracted souls. This is one of the few places where you're attuned to them. Ooh, boy. Especially in here. So, Interesting. Uh, uh, now, to, to, say, be, uh... now to be clear, you don't know exactly... Uh, so, the act of you using your player knowledge to talk to each other uh, will will be like revela revel uh, revelating in, uh, inspiration in your mm -hmm. character's mm -hmm. mind to kind of give you... It, it's coming to you. But there's mm. a reason that's explained why that's coming to you is what I'm getting at. But mm. just to make things easier, you can talk to each other out of character using player knowledge. That's fine. All right. Uh, I guess going through the natures of each color would probably be pretty important. Would I know about Fort Frost completely or just like fragments of it? Fragments of it, but enough to ask mm. Right. Now, the problem with that is, is that you, Chrome, are in a place where you can attune to the fact that you are a Traveler Soul. Uh, Moss has no fucking idea about any of that, and he has no capacity yes. to communicate with that other side, so, you know. Mm -hmm. You can't really use the, you, you can't use any useful information to Moss, because being yeah. a Moss wouldn't have access to the usefulness. Right? Yeah. Unless, unless, of course, you found a way to communicate with him. <laughs> yeah. That's that was that was on the list, but he said he said that was a no no. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he yeah, he, 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 he also he also constantly shits on the goddess of fate. So yeah, <laughs> Yo, who knows he was killed by the violet and came back. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, probably a good idea to know the actual nature of how the enemy was sealed. Kind of gotta throw that knowledge out there. I guess all the question I have is just mm. personal questions. Mm -hmm. Like, like yeah. the mechanics of it, because I think that's canon. Like, like people know that, like, the great well, prison was restored. To people with knowledge, like in so in character, no, no, like Corvani in character is gonna even know what the last stand, or they won't even know what the reckoning was. In Calcatesh, it's learned knowledge. But, but even the details are kind of foggy because what happened was so unbelievable that it's basically become like myth and like tall tales and shit. Yeah. So, 
But is, is the details worth it? Is what I'm thinking. I, mean, oh, I guess oh. I may as well. But there, there is the the hidden potential of there could I, be. I will give this one piece like, of advice because I do not want to interfere with your decision process. So I will give you this one piece of advice. Hmm. You can ask for anything. But understand that if you ask a question in this place, I will answer it. And that that may have effects that you did not determine, suspect, expect, uh, or are prepared for. I will tell mm -hmm. you this. I want you guys to, and this is more to your continued enjoyment and play of your characters and all that. I want you guys to have all that. But understand, mm -hmm. this is one of the few times where I will not put your enjoyment first. If you ask me, I will answer it, even if that answer being revealed would destroy you. You guys get what I mean? Uh, yeah. So okay. if you, as a player, understand the damage, the danger of a, of a question, but your character wouldn't, you can use that knowledge? You are using player knowledge. Yes. Okay. For that express purpose. Now, I'm not mm -hmm. saying that to scare you. I'm saying that to... The last example I will give, there are some answers that if you learn may ruin your character's aspirations and may cause you to either like give up on them, change them. You know, you see what I mean? Like it isn't, mm -hmm. it isn't just like I have a gun, shoot you in the head, LOL, you're dead. It isn't just like that. Although that does exist here. I'm just saying that be careful. Use yeah. prudence is what I'm saying. Don't, don't spoil of what could be further down the line, really. Mm -hmm. So. Anyway, that's my only advice. You may do as you wish. I mean, we're coming up on session time, so you're probably going to yeah. discuss it during the week. So, um, yeah, I, yeah. I use this last bit of time to ask me any uh, pertinent, like, methodology questions, like, how do we want to label them, and how do you want to go through it? My, my suggestion is that if you have... So, when you guys come up with your things you want to explore what would be easier for me is put all the personal ones which are character specific in one pile put all the ones that have to deal with like specific sagas like the violet saga the glayan saga stuff like that into specific piles and if you specifically ask about a color itself put that in a pile or any deity that would be helpful uh, is the is the Sephira book out in the open, or is it there? Like, do I know where it is? <clears throat> That's in the colored section, and in in the section that has all the colors, there are you know all the seven colors, and where the blue section is, that's where that tome is, the shell of herself. Okay. Also, mm -hmm. before Zahab says anything, yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 what, what is it? What, did, what was the hog gonna say? The colors. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew he was gonna say something, so I just got like, him. I just shot him. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I fucking feel, immersion. Uh, I'm already. I'm already breaking. <laughs> Shattered. <laughs> targeted. Um. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna point out the book and say. I, I, Chrome, you have gone through a lot of fucking portals that I've been through that I don't know how to say it. Don't, don't don't open that book. Just let it be. And there are probably others here. Are you, oh. Are you talking to me? Yeah. I see you touch things a lot. And I, I know that you aspire for power and I don't I don't want to not see you get what you want, I guess, but um, I know that when I say don't try something, I might be giving a temptation to, but this is this is one of those. Do not touch. Oh, should we ask about like the prismatic key and stuff like that? I understand your question. Um, I mean, like the temple we found? Hey. Oh, go ahead. That's that's a good thing to put on the list. We sh we should sort of make a map, and priority things. Mm -hmm. um, anything anything that has to do with <coughs> with Violet, we 
have to have a group discussion about that before. Mm -hmm. Make a uh, make a fucking um, uh, a cork board crazy conspiracy thread bar with books and get all your questions ready, Luke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's this weird dude, <laughs> fucking Ryan, I think. <laughs> bar muttering to himself about the eternal realm. <laughs> Oh, yeah, make... so the, the the default off limits Violet stuff needs a group consensus on. Mm -hmm. Um that one blue book No Touch. Um would that include like to your information? Um like, I guess it does, yeah. To tier? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. although we... That would, like be, a, that would be on the safer end of, of the Violet stuff, but we should still probably have a consensus on that. Yeah, but Nar's question like a, about Amber and stuff is probably safe. Yeah, because I, oh, I, 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 I think I had a dangerous tier question that felt in character, but I'm not sure I want to throw that one out. Who's his mother? Well, we could, oh. we could spitball before going to go get the book. Hmm. Take your time. There's no need to rush through this. And if if I change my mind and I go run towards that blue book, I am a part of this. Uh, I only I only speak from experience, or would I perhaps convince myself of the experience? The if you want to veto anything that I look into, whether or not I think it's a good idea, or whether or not I think it's short sighted, your word is just as strong as mine in this regard. I just want our we can't yeah. fuck up here. You know what I'm saying? First. Mm -hmm. mm. Understandable. Hmm. Well, okay. I think most of my questions just... Since I have a really restricted knowledge on Violet stuff and etc. It's more like just inner character questions. Mm. Like, Self-connected stuff, you know? Yeah, like... Most of it's just for like the how is Tier and Realm and Fort Frost all connected, <clears throat> which basically is the only thing I can really tie in with the Violet stuff. But other than that, I don't really have any current questions about Saga and Solus issues. Oh, we can ask about the island. Which island? Uh, the the Meat Island. The Kuatoa. Oh, why? I, it was crazy shit. Huh? We, we had player knowledge, remember? <laughs> and? And? <laughs> and? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> oh, yeah, just Silver Star and all that shit. <laughs> and? <laughs> and? <laughs> Get over here and kiss me. <laughs> Alrighty. We well, are. In, if we we are... approach it. Um... If, if we do the same we did uh, last session, um, sort of came to you with a sort of organized list um, for this wing, would that be like the best way to go about yeah, it? Yeah, try to get it to me before session, though, cool. like in all of its entirety, because yeah. yeah, some of the stuff, some of the stuff, I'm gonna have to go pretty far back, I suspect. So I just want to make sure I can get it all in front of me. Like it takes me a while to like move that much information in front of me so I can answer it properly. But um, looks good though. All right, we'll call it here. We're at session mm -hmm. time. Woo! Oh, what a fucking doozy that was. <laughs> I'm gonna start doozing. What's what's Ezekiel's opinion on? Is is he in all knowledge is for everyone, or is there still is is he, he still like? Eh, maybe some things should cook. He's he's a practical character more than anything else. Okay. Like, does he think that do some? Time, does time. he think that that knowledge is? Like, some knowledge could never be known. No, he's not like that. He's not like Rune Theris. He's also not like Galak and High, which is give it all to me right now. He's the neutral of those two. He's... Take your time. <laughs> he's very patient. Okay, cool, cool. Patience is a virtue to as a kind. so... All in due time. Marlo's only flaw. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> his Leave only flaw. One. Yes, your <laughs> impatience. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, time to grow as a character. Uh, uh. Roll bare balls. No. All right, let's see. Sagas and Solace. Do we have any? Fa okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a 
That's a good sign. Sure do. Hmm. A lot of interesting ones. Man. Hmm. <laughs> what a... God. <laughs> All right. All right. So I got some stuff I want to talk about when it comes to this fucking image. All right. First of all, he's 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 eating a burnt hot dog on a fork, right? And at first, I'm like, that's that's distracting. And then I see how clean his keyboard is. That's pretty good. And then I look how immaculate his handwriting is, and it drives me crazy. Look at this. Look at these. Look that's, at these. That's one of four dogs. It's not even. That was the first one. <laughs> Man, look at look at these look at so these. Notes. Organized with little my, square. Did you use a my, ruler when you made those? Wait, the my rectangle. man with his yeah. paper character sheet. When the rectangles are real on a paper. <laughs> this is custom made. <laughs> Fane randomly in the forest. Oh, I can feel something. Communication. <laughs> Someone's speaking to trash to me. Fast <laughs> <laughs> <Bass> pro. <laughs> <laughs> Alone you are not. In your head I am. I am so sorry, Marlo. Your world is exploding. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh. yeah, just just Gruel, because he, he did the bad thing. Just him. Only me. Definitely not me included in that now. <laughs> eight, 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 eight. 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 The symbol of the Talandani. <laughs> Do you not see the darkness inside of two circles that make a singular <laughs> circle? When you flip them too quickly, they become one circle. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> one. Darkness uh. comes to those that don't have knowledge. <laughs> All right. Good game, guys. Excellent session. Good. Had a fantastic time. Um, as a kind of a point out thing, I'm going to be making these announcements officially, but we are coming up on the end of the second story arc which means that prestige mm -hmm. classes will be done soon. And I also want to get the whole feat list done. Um, what that also will probably end up being is that at the end of those story arcs, uh, I'm going to do a pseudo kind of small uh, time jump. It's not going to be super long, like a month or something, to represent uh, all of the, uh, or however much time I need for all of the groups to get kind of back into the appropriate um uh, uh, and appropriate, sync. appropriate sync lockstep uh, and also so that I can use that time to write the next story arc and make sure it's all ready for everybody for those of you that are in groups that restarted or joined like later than that what I'll probably do is I'll take that break and then when we come back to you guys after the break is that you guys will get to a certain point and then you'll do a time jump to catch up to everybody else uh, due to your own natural story and then at that point everybody should be caught up so that's the idea um, so you can expect uh, you can expect the prestige classes to be done. Um, I'm going to seriously try and get them done by the end of February. Um, and then the feats should be done the next, uh, I want to say the the 9th, maybe the um, 16th of March. I'm going to try to get that I, done. Um, I really want to interrupt this, but can we get away from Vampire Nicholas Cage? Oh, you don't, you don't want to see that? Okay, how about that? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, but anyway. It was so, almost finished. Yeah, there's <laughs> lots of stuff coming. It's going to be great. Uh, also, tonight is community night. Um, we're going to probably just be playing Helldivers and screaming about freedom. So if you want to come in and join in and <laughs> hang out and have a good time, please, please do so. Nice. You mean a month of no games? No, it's probably going to be two weeks. That's, that's it. I'm probably only going to take two weeks. Yeah. Which I think is the exact amount that I took last time. So don't worry about it. It's going to uh, be yeah. okay. I have to get all this writing done. I have to get all this shit ready. Alrighty. Thanks, guys. Hugs and kisses. I'll see you at community <laughs> night. <laughs>